This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. Read the code below. Use a pinned item to add two more food items to the list. Ah, uh, yes. So what a pin does, it allows you to smack things onto the back of a list. Notice how the length of the list grows each time you add an item. Yeah. If you, yeah. Okay. Let's run. Um, here's my list. My food list. Carrots, pizza, lettuce, strawberries, peanuts. I hope that's not a pizza recipe. And the length is five. Yep. So the length is five. One, two, three, four, five, of course. But we know now that the index numbers are zero for carrots, one for pizza, two for lettuce, three for strawberries, four for peanuts. All right. So we're going to append, which is the word they use to add stuff. So let's see what we got. Use append item to add item to the food list. All right. So we're going to do it right there then. Append. Now, what do I want to append to? Well, I have this list name, food. Okay. And what do I want to append? What word? Well, I'm going to say tacos because, you know, I'm sensible. All right. Now I'm going to hit run. Oh, now look, I have six items. Six. And what are they? Carrots, pizza, lettuce, strawberries, peanuts, tacos. And it just pushes it onto the end. All right. Now I'm going to go down one. So it shows me each time because I appended tacos. I'm printing out the whole list and the length. So I'm going to do one more down here. I'm going to append. Yeah. And is that? Yep. All right. So we need to change the list again. We don't have a list. We have food. And then I am going to do chips because, you know, healthy. All right. And then that all looks good. Boom. So append allows you to quickly add things onto the end of a list. Great. Onward.